speaker for the opportunity to speak about this topic that I'm extremely passionate about. Members of Parliament, we must first start to stop lamenting and act. Because the only place where the action can happen is here in Parliament. We can pass the necessary laws and regulations to ensure that our farmers are protected. And it's not just the coffee and tea farmers. It is farming across the sector. If you look at our history from the time of independence, the whole entire farming industry has, on, has been on a decline consistently. There is no time that it's been on an upcline. And you ask yourselves as Kenyans that you see tea in Europe that's called English tea, yet there isn't a single plantation of tea in Europe or England. That English tea is Kenyan tea. You go around the whole of America and Europe too, you find Starbucks selling coffee, yet they don't have a single plantation of coffee. There is something wrong with us as a country. The education that has been invested by government hasn't helped us because we should have changed that trajectory at that time. We must, and I'm asking the agriculture chairperson, you must spearhead this. If you truly want to be worth that seat that you are given by Kenyans, that you must engage with the ministry and stakeholders and find ways of turning this around so that any tea that's being sold abroad is called Kenyan tea and not English tea because the plantations are ours. We also, because we have continued to behave like we are being colonized. Yes, during colonial times, that was okay because during colonial times, they were growing the tea here and taking it to their country and call it in English, calling it English tea because we are British protectorate. But we are not a British protectorate or colony anymore. So we must start first by even changing the name of the tea. If you go, um, if you look at what the food production that we used to have, we used to produce sufficient rice, we used to pr produce sufficient palm oil, sufficient coconut oil, sufficient wheat, sufficient sugar, sufficient maize. But today, we are net importers of all those crops that we are capable of growing. So I think we must interrogate ourselves and we must fault ourselves as members of parliament. It is not the job of the farmer to resolve that issue. 